Hi, it's Scott Rockfile back with another podcast review for you. Going to talk about the 2022 Japanese anime film, Suzumi. Used to be a huge anime fan. I honestly don't watch a whole lot of anime these days, but I still love the art form. Um, when I first got into it back in the 80s, Akira was a new thing and it blew our minds. And I went to the, one of the first Dragon Cons and they had an animation room and we were watching like Lupin Third without uh, any kind of subtitles or uh, dubs. It was just Japanese, but the animation was so amazing. You were glued to it. Well, animation's come a long way, and in 2022, this is an incredibly beautifully film, uh, beautifully made film. It is uh, a little bit older than the normal uh, audience for this guy's films. It was uh, directed by Makoto Shinkai. This is about a 17-year-old high school girl who meets a stranger, it turns out to be a college student, and they basically trek across Japan, stopping earthquakes and other terrible things from happening by closing doors. It has some deeper themes, obviously, and I don't want to give away anything here. Um, it's beautifully animated. I watched it uh, mostly in Japanese with the subtitles, but flipped over to the English dub, and it's actually a good one. The 5.1 surround sound was pretty much the same for both versions of the film, so depending on whether you like subtitles or dubs, watch it either way. You're going to get almost the same film. I did notice the English script kind of trunicated and shortened some of the dialogue sections that were a little more verbose in the Japanese version, but I, I kept on the Japanese version for the most part. Um, the movie came out at the end of 2022. It was shown on Crunchyroll at the end of 2023 and finally hit U.S. home video in March of 2024. The film has grossed over $300 million worldwide. Yes, an anime film has grossed over $300 million worldwide. Uh, at this time I'm recording, that's about $318 million. That is a massive achievement. It was also um, nominated for a lot of awards up against movies like The Boy and the Heron and uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, it didn't win, but it was nominated, and it, wow. The only reason I picked this up, honestly, the reviews are really good. Uh, it's like 96% on Rotten Tomatoes with over 130 reviews. And I was walking through Walmart, and it was on sale. Uh, literally, that's it. It sat on a shelf because I on it, I have a little anime section of some of my favorite things like Cowboy Bebop and Akira. But here it was. And I was like, it's a really pretty steel book and the price is right. So it also comes with the DVD and a entire Blu-ray of extras. And man, there are a lot of extras on it. If you want to get into the making of this anime, check out the bonus disc that comes with the steel book or the regular version of Su Suzumi. Funny how the English dub says the name a little bit differently than the Japanese say it. Anyway, it's got some cute characters, but it's not too cutesy. There's some drama, but it's not too dramatic. I mean, it's not Grave of the Fireflies depressing or anything like that. But it is an analogy for the earthquakes and the tsunamis that were happening in Japan uh, in the later part of this part of the 21st century and the director kind of weave that into the storyline felt it needed a, a big female character because his last movie weathering with you had a male character and then needed a, a, a sidekick a buddy kind of thing and there's a talking cat and and the the guy gets turned into a chair at one point and anyway uh, it is anime but it's really well done and like i said it's not kitty too much i felt like i was watching a movie that was made for me not that something was dumbed down or made for kids or anything else sure it's had some cutesy characters and some far-fetched situations but all in all there is a seriousness to to a lot of it and what it's really about is you know young girl finding her way dealing with uh, life loss uh there's some things hinted at in the past that is kind of illuminated later on with some specific things happening and uh there Anyway, if I say any more, I'm going to get into spoiler territory. Needless to say, it's an exciting two-hour animated film of a, of a group of characters going across Japan trying to stop earthquakes by closing doors. 
Suzumi is available now on Crunchyroll. You could probably stream it for free, or it's available on home video. The Blu-ray, again, looks spectacular. The 5.1 sounded great, whether you're watching the Japanese or the English dub. All in all, this is one of my favorite animes I've seen in recent years. Totally entertained by it. Because sometimes, you know, you, you watch an anime, some friend has told you to watch, and you get halfway through it, and you're like, I'm either not getting it, or it's just not entertaining me, or whatever. These days, there's a lot of really great anime out there, and that they're using anime art artists to make things like the new uh, Terminator series is coming out. Terminator Zero looks pretty good. So if you're into anime, uh, check out Suzumi. It's a more mature thing than you expect by the cover art, and it really is a solid flick through and through. Part drama, part comedy, part action. Uh, I was totally engaged throughout. Check it out. Available now on Crunchyroll and on home video. I'm Scott. I'm Rockfile. More podcasts are on the way. I talk more, but I don't want to give away spoilers. Thank you so much for listening to a podcast. Have a spectacular day. Thank you.